Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode 80 or 81 or something like that. I can't remember. I keep forgetting to like look before I start recording. But I'm going to hop in. I got some finished objects this week and a couple whips. I do have some things that I'm planning on starting again soon, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. But um, I've only got two active whips, and one they've both already been active for a while. I'm just procrastinating, procrastinating finishing them because I don't want to finish them. <laughs> At least one of them is kind of annoying. But I do have three finished objects this week and the two whips and then I got some a little bit of acquisitions to show you. And I will also insert a clip uh, after the acquisition part about the items that I kept out of the um, crochet carousel from Loretta and Blaine. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm in uh, roses too. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I got an email from her but I don't know when it's going to come to me. I don't know when I'm expecting it. But um, I got the other one. I already, all the items that I took out, I already put new items in and it's all taped up. I just got to get the address for the next person, which uh, I forgot to do that earlier. So I got to do that later so that I can take it to the post office tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop into my finished objects. They're pretty easy ones. <laughs> I'll start with Hugo the turtle because he was an almost finished object last week. When I showed him he was almost done, I just had to finish closing him and uh, put his eyes on and stuff him. And I did that. So this is Hugo the Turtle by Michelle Estrada. This is my turtle. Uh, I just put his eyes. I didn't stitch a mouth or anything. Because I wanted it to look a little bit more realistic. <laughs> so um, I didn't give it like a cartoony look. The eyes are a little crooked. But that's okay. I think the actual, I think I made the whole head crooked. Or the stuffing maybe. It's not distributed properly <laughs> I don't know but he's cute I think he's fine um, it's all red heart yarns I just don't know the names of all of them I know this brown is cafe latte and this is a red heart variegated I just don't know what it's called <laughs> and this is a red heart like tweed yarn that I got in one of the packages someone sent me it was like a scrap ball and I wanted to use that as his under shell so he's brown and he's just got uh, safety eyes. I'm not sure what size they are. The container I have of safety eyes doesn't have um, the sizes on it. But I thought that was a good size. I think he's cute. <laughs> I, I love it. I'm actually wanting one of my new... Um, I'm about to start whips. I don't know what that would be called. <laughs> uh, soon to be whips is going to be some more of these. I want to make two or three or four more of these to take to the craft fair that I'm going to do this October. I'm going to make them a bunch of different um, color combinations. Some greens and blues or something. And uh, so I could take some to that craft fair just in case someone wants a turtle. But I think he's absolutely adorable. <laughs> Super easy to. He's made kind of like a rag doll essentially in two panels. And then you sew it together and stuff it. And a uh, really fast pattern. Um, if I hadn't have been so distracted all, all the time since I started him, I could have probably finished him in a couple of days. Maybe even one day if I was just um, working on it straight and not doing other stuff. But yeah, I think he's super cute. I love all of her patterns so far. I can't wait to see what else she comes out with. But I will link it below. This is a paid for pattern. But it's definitely worth it, worth it. Because it's adorable. And it works up super fast. So you could, if you have a craft fair, you could probably pop out a whole bunch of these before you go. And everybody's all about turtles right now. Everybody's trying to reduce plastic and save the turtles. So, um, I think this would be a popular seller. Maybe. <laughs> And yeah, I'm hoping so at least I'm going to make a few to take with me to my craft fair. The last two finished objects that I have are squares for the Unraveled Mittens um, stash busting thing. <laughs> Crochet along it's gone on this year. Uh, I'm not sure what their numbers are. I think it's 9 and 10 or it might be 8 and 9 or 10 and 11. <laughs> I think it's 9 and 10. But uh, one of them actually turned out smaller than it needs to be and one turned out slightly larger. But I'm not worried because I think once I go to crochet them all together and put the border on it and all that I think it'll stretch it out and it'll be fun and this is going to be a used blanket so it's going to actually be being used uh, either in our bedroom or on, in our living room so it doesn't need to be perfect because it's actually going to get used and washed and used and washed so it's going to uh, get all messed up in shape anyways but the first one I think is um, let's see here what is it called the waddle stitch wattle w-a-t W-A-T-T-L-E. Every time I say it, it sounds like I say waddle, like a duck waddles, but it's waddle <laughs> stitch. And I absolutely love this stitch. This this square was super fun to make and really fast, and I love the stitch, and I'll probably will carry it on to use to do other things. But I made it in, 
uh, Red Heart Super Saver Takura, and I think this is called Hot Pink or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's super bright. I'm trying to make all my squares really bright. This is the one that turned out a little bit smaller, but I'm not worried about it because it does stretch a lot, so it'll it'll be fine. But I love this stitch because when you use multiple colors, it gives it a zigzagged look, and I thought it was really neat. I think in the um, the sample that she made it was three different colors but i just, just stuck with two <laughs> i thought it kind of looked like cotton candy or something the colorways it's really blown out because it's the window but it's not quite that bright it is bright but it's not quite that bright but uh i think it's adorable either way so that's the waddle stitch and then the next one was called the braided stitch square and it's also by her um and this yarn i'm not sure if it's red heart it kind of feels like a red heart maybe it is but it's like an older one. It's a ball that I got, I think, from Becky. It's a purple color. I don't know what the color is. I can't remember. I can't even remember if I had the ball band on it. I'd have to go look, and it's already back in my shelf. But it's a really cool stitch. This was another super easy uh, stitch combo. It's just a row of half double crochet and a row of double crochet. But you just um, you work in the back loop only on the double crochet rows, which gives it the, the ridges. I thought this was pretty cool. And also equally fast. I made both of these yesterday evening. Uh, just while hanging out at home so I'm all caught up on that and I think I can't remember if the next one comes out next Wednesday or the Wednesday after next but I'll be ready for when it comes there is a crochet along I did fall behind a little bit on and that's Jade and Stitches 2019 calendar blanket uh, I haven't started the barn yet and uh, she released I think today another tree pattern but it's a bonus pattern like you don't have to put it well you don't have to put any of them on there but it's not one that's meant to be on the pat the um everybody's blankets it's just like an optional extra <laughs> but um i haven't made either though so i gotta work on that or see if i even want to use the other tree sorry about that Devin went on to break so i stopped to talk to him what was i talking about whips oh, yeah, i showed you the squares i mean not whips finished objects so I do have two active whips. Um, one I'm really close to being done with. I'm just procrastinating finishing it because I only have one more piece to make on it. And it is made with three strands held together. And the, the piece, which is this hat, is in all three different colors. So that's nine strands of yarn that I'm going to be having all at once. And um, I'm just procrastinating doing that. I'm, I need to do it though just to get it done. But it is my... Uh, Spirit the Eagle Stuffy by Heidi Yates. It is a paid for pattern and it is a like a patriotic type thing. But here it is. Oh, it's blown out really bad. There's Play-Doh on it from Jesse. I'm, the hat's going to cover that up. But I did put the eyes on. I still have to put the pupils and the beak. And his body's down. He does sit up on like a flat surface when he's on a flat surface. And then I also got his wings are done. I just haven't sewed them on yet. They will, if I can get him turned around, they will be, well, if I could center it, <laughs> that will be kind of like that. And then I've also finished the flag heart belly thing <laughs> that goes on his belly it will be kind of like that. Uh, so then all I have to do, other than sewing all these pieces on, is do the pupils and make the hat, which is just like a beanie hat that sits on his head that's red, white, and blue. And I'm actually going to stitch it on there to help cover up the Play-Doh that Jesse got on there because I can't get it off. Um, I'm not, I don't want to worry about it too much. But yeah, so this is going to be for our county fair for the patriotic decoration that isn't a wreath category. <laughs> um, because America and Eagles. <laughs> but yeah, so it's almost done. I just have to hurry up and do the hat. But I'm going to have nine strands working on it at once because there's color changes. And that's why I'm procrastinating it because I don't want to deal with that. But I'm going to do it. The original pattern is written with just two strands held together. Or I guess you could use, you know, thicker um, yarn. But I wanted to use three strands to make it thicker and to make the holes a little less obvious. Uh, because when I was doing it, my tension's always all over the place when I'm making amigurumis and stuff. When I started it with two strands, there was a bunch of gaps. And I didn't want to use a different hook size because I didn't want the bird itself to be smaller. I actually wanted it to be, to be bigger. So that's why I picked um, three strands and then a slightly larger hook. I think I'm using a... Um, K? JK? I don't know. I can't remember. It's in the project bag, which is in my bedroom. Um, but yeah, I gotta finish this up and get it done because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but it is almost done. And then my second and last active whip is the um, Hide, Hide, Hide? Is it Hide to Ties? I think it's High. 
and I wrote it down wrong, High Tides Waves by B-Ball Blanket. It is a pay-for pattern if you want to buy the whole pattern all at once. It is free until tomorrow, June 1st. Yeah, you can get the first part of it for free on the uh, Facebook group. And um, I don't know if I'm going to have this up before then. If I have it up before then, I'll try to remember to link it. But after uh, June 1st, when June 1st gets here, you'll have to pay for it. But uh, I got the first part downloaded and for free and did it. And then I got the second part emailed to me for free. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty close to being done with the second part. Let's see here. I think I'm on... Yeah, I got like three more rounds, I think, of um, the second part. And I'm doing this in Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And I think it's called Scuba or Surf. I think it's Scuba. It's Blues. This is it. It's hard to hold them to where you can see the texture well on camera. You can see it a lot better in real life. There's hair all over it. <laughs> but I've been working on this pretty much. Like when Jesse goes outside to play in the sandbox or something, I will sit out there with him and work on this. Because um, it's kind of like the Mandala Madness. It's a small section of repeat and then you just repeat it a certain amount of times all the way around. So it's easy. Once you get the little repeat memorized, you can just repeat it all the way around. But I'm really liking it. I think the colors are turning out really pretty. And I love all the puffs and stuff. It's just, I love texture on blankets like that. And it just looks really pretty. So yeah, I am. Um, this is a jumbo ball of the scuba, the ombre. And I think the pattern says it takes two and 2.6 of the jumbo ones. So I've got four of them. Um, so I should have some left over. But so far... I'm almost done with part two, and I've got this much left of one jumbo ball of ombre. Put this back in my project bag with my hook and my pattern. I did print its pattern out just so I could carry it with me. I don't normally like to print out stuff a lot because, you know, wasting paper and ink. <laughs> but um, something like that, I need to be able to look at it a lot, and I don't want to have to use my phone the whole time. But that is my last uh, active web. I am... I have this stuff pulled out to make some Thanksgiving decorations that my sister wants me to make her. They are for two liter soda bottle covers. So you like use an empty bottle. I guess you put something in it to make it heavy. Uh, water or sand or something. And they go over that and then, you know, so they can stand up. And it's two pilgrims, a boy and a girl. And I'm also going to, before I give them to her, I'm going to enter them into our county fair as Thanksgiving decoration. And um, I was going to start that and I actually did start it. But for some reason, they have the skin color in the pattern written as white like straight up white <laughs> like that color white and I started the pattern because at first I thought it was their color and then when I when I was working the pattern I was like this is their head and I was like I don't want them to be ghostly white so I ripped it out and I'm gonna start with like a beige or a tan color to give them um you know a more skin color tone not a crazy white like that door right there tone I don't know why they wrote it that way but it was really weird but um, I think those will work up fast once I get the colors uh, picks out right and she actually bought me those patterns I will share that uh, all the information about that when I actually start them and show them but um, she bought me the first set is it has Thanksgiving and Halloween and like 4th of July and I think a leprechaun one and then she ended up buying me the second set too just because you know she I guess she want me to have them all and it was uh, Christmas ones and I think it was you know Mr. and Mrs. Claus and some other Christmassy characters but yeah so I'm excited I probably end up making I will probably end up making all of them eventually because they're really cute and um, they'd be an easy decoration to have around the house because you could, you know, use a bottle of water to put them up. And then when you store them, you could just store the crocheted bits and, you know, not the bottles. But, yeah. Or just keep the same bottles and switch them out. That would probably be a better idea, wouldn't it? But, uh, yeah. So, I will share that stuff when I get to it. Um, I did mention earlier that I will put in a clip of what I kept out of the carousel package. I will try to do that here in a minute and I'll probably put a voiceover or something over it <laughs> the clip is not that good because I had the girl that I babysit here so I was trying to film it without her being in it and I wasn't talking because I was planning on doing a voiceover so I'll try to do a voiceover if I don't um you'll just be able to visually see what I get what I picked some of the stuff I kept out of the carousel I actually gave to her because <laughs> she does crochet also I taught her how to crochet and um so a lot of it I kept for her to do to uh, have and then some of it I kept for me to have and then I filled up the box um I put 
a lot of stuff in there. I'm not sure if I put more than I was supposed to in there, but I filled the box full <laughs> and uh, I'll be packaging it up or it's packaged up. I just got to get the address. I think the person who is after me is Karen. Uh, I can't remember what her last name is. I'll have to look on the list and then message her to get her address and then I will send it out tomorrow morning sometime. And yeah, so I did get some acquisitions other than um, that. I left my yarn over there. I gotta go get my yarn real quick. I technically bought more yarn, but it was for Kat. I bought her um, five of the Yarn Bee little 99 cent balls of yarn. It's like acrylic yarn from Hobby Lobby because uh, they were all 30% off today. So they were like seven, around 70 cents, um, 60 something cents. <laughs> so I just bought her some of those because she likes just making little things. And then I bought me um, just two other little sugar wheel cotton minis. <laughs> I thought I could make dishcloths out of them because they were also 30% off. Um, they're normally $2.49. And I can't remember how much they came up to. <laughs> I'm not good with math right off the top of my head. But I got these two. And this one is just shades of blue. And I think it's called Just Relax. Yeah, Just Relax. I thought it was watery. And then this one. I actually have a big ball of this sugar wool cotton that I was going to make um, a Swiffer pad with and it's called Savannah Sonnet and they're just 100% little cotton balls uh, 117 yards each so just little dishcloths but um, they also had some of these that were they were cheaper they were like a dollar 79 I think or dollar 49 and they were 10% cotton 90% acrylic mixes so I thought that was interesting um, but I got the 100% cotton ones because I, I intended to make dishcloths with them. Because one of the dishcloths that I got gifted to me that I use all the time, and it's probably why, it's starting to unravel. So I wanted to make some more. I'm going to try to knit them. Because <laughs> I really enjoy the knitted dishcloths better than the crochet ones. Just because the knitted ones have a thinner texture. And it's easier to get down into cups and bowls and stuff. The other acquisitions I got um, are sewing. But I'm going to show them anyways. At our Walmart, not our local one, but the town next to me where I do most of my shopping. It's got bigger stores and more stores and all that. But um, they had these threads on sale. They're each, they're white. I don't know if you can see it. They're blown out. But they're 1,094 yards each and they were on sale for $4. Normally the ones I buy are $3 and they're 500 yards. So this was a better deal. So I got four times that for $4 less. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I will use those. Because I've been selling like crazy. <laughs> and then I got a bunch of yards for liner material. These were all on clearance for a dollar each. So I got brown, pink, dark green, orange, blue, and light green. Uh, all for a dollar each. And these are the kind of materials that I use for liner materials on my bags. So I was excited about that to get those for cheaper. Than, they're normally $2, but they were half off. <laughs> so I was excited about that. They're revamping their craft area and they're getting rid of a lot of the sewing stuff and getting new um, prints and stuff. And these threads, whatever brand this is, Guterman, it's like a German brand. Um, yeah, Germany <laughs> right there. Uh, they're getting rid of all of these. They had hundreds and hundreds of spools of thread, but there were littler ones and diff all kinds of different colors. And they only had white, big ones, and gray. I didn't get any gray ones. I wish I had had black. Because I use white and black a lot for my bags for the inside parts. And then I try to use coordinating colors for the outside parts. But if I don't have it, I just use whatever color looks best with it. Alright, I think that's everything. Yeah. <laughs> These are the yarns that I kept from the uh, carousel package. I kept their green for myself. The two blue unforgettables are for Kat. And the yarn next to it, the Peyton Lace. Or for Kat, she wanted those. And then the Karen, uh, there's three of those there. I kept them because I thought I could use them for Emma Green. This uh, kit right here I kept because it's cotton and it's white, so I thought I could dye it. <laughs> and the cat also wanted that weird squiggly yarn. <laughs> and then you can never have too many buttons, so I kept the buttons. This is a little bag of stitch markers, so yes, never have too many of those. <laughs> and what else did I keep? Uh, notebooks. Catherine wanted these. She thought they were cool. So she's using them to keep track of her crochet stuff. There's four of those in there. And then this is a circular knitting needle set I kept because why not? <laughs> and then these two leaflets with patterns on them I kept. 
I'm gonna try to film some more videos soon, but I haven't been crocheting a whole lot just because I've been super busy. Life's just been really crazy lately. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but it has. <laughs> and, um, I'll, you know, a lot of it's Jesse because now he's getting older and he's wanting to do more, more stuff. So it's not as easy as, you know, him just sitting in the floor playing while I'm crocheting. And I'm actually having to, you know, taking places and do stuff with him, which is fine. I love it. And, uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff outside. We live in an apartment. And we only have a small porch. I don't know how big it is. It's, it's pretty big, but it's not like a room size. Um, but we do have some raised beds out there and some potted plants growing. Uh, we got, we've got we already been picking strawberries off of our plants. And there's more out there now. I could probably pick some later today or tomorrow if they're ripe. I like to get them when they're almost too ripe because I like them when they're starting to go bad, personally. Um, and uh, we got pepper plants growing. We got tomato plants growing. And they're starting to flower. We got cucumber plants growing like crazy, and they already got little tiny cucumbers on them all over the place. They're going to have a lot of cucumbers. And we've got some onions and garlic growing. I don't know how good they're going to do because I think they're cold weather crops, but they're growing, so maybe they'll do good. And I think that's everything we got growing. Yeah. Next year, we're going to do more, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. But I've been buying, like, I've been trying to make the porch more comfortable. I've been buying, um, I bought some bird feeders and some wind chimes. I'm just trying to make it more more like a yard, I guess, because I really want a yard <laughs> more than anything I want a yard, but that's just going to have to do until we can get a house. But yeah, so I think the last thing I have to share with you guys is some bags. I do have bags in my shop right now, and they are on sale until tomorrow, uh, June 1st. They're 15% off, so I just thought I would show you the ones that are left. Some of them have sold, but there's still some. So I have one set of the birch tree print, and they do have my new labels on them. Well, maybe not that one. <laughs> I thought they did. This one I made a, a few weeks ago, but it's pretty birch tree print. The new labels are on the new bags, which are right here. I love this print. It looks so summery. It's like uh, flamingos and flowers, but these are the new labels that I was trying to talk about. It's got it on both sides. <laughs> got one set of those, and it comes with a notion pouch that is big enough for hooks. And then this one is really pretty flowers with the label. And these ones are super cute. <laughs> I have two sets of this one. And it is cats with yarn balls. I thought that was super cute. And here's the bag. Just a bunch of little cats with yarn balls. And then I have one, two sets of this one. Also extremely adorable. But da Lambs. <laughs> I thought this was too cute to pass out this print. Just a bunch of little lambs. And also with the new tag. I really like those new tags. I gotta order some more already. I really like them. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep them ones because I just like the way it's on the outside and it just gives it something. I don't know, just something extra. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But these are so cute. I love this print. They're orange on the inside. All the sheep ones are. But there are two of those left. And two of the cats. But yeah, so I think that's everything. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh, there will be a lot more amigurumi type projects probably starting soon because I need to start um, making a lot of fall slash Halloween slash maybe Thanksgiving themed things for the craft fair that I'm doing. And I am working on, I got my list and I'm trying to find all the patterns to put on my list so that I can go down it <laughs> for my county fair projects. I got some of them already done, like the spirit uh, eagle is going towards that. And then I made a wreath. Uh, I showed last video, but I just got to put it on the form. And, um, so many other projects so i'm gonna try i gotta try to like focus and actually start working on this stuff because i don't want to procrastinate and i only have like a month to do it all speaking of wreaths um i found a video online about how to make wreath forms out of pool noodles and like duct tape and i'm gonna try that because that, that would be significantly cheaper than buying a foam um wreath form my dollar tree does have foam wreath forms but they're the little like nine inch ones and i need 12 inch ones for most of the crochet patterns. And I know I could alter it, but I don't want little tiny reefs. I want at least 12 inch or 16 inch ones. Um, so pool noodles are like 90 something cents each. So I could probably, you know, I need five for the fair because I have five wreath categories. So that would be $5 plus the tape uh, as opposed to five, six, seven dollars each for a foam one from a craft store. Because even at Walmart, they're like five ninety something each and they're even more expensive at Hobby Lobby. So, um, I don't want to have to do like coupons every time, go multiple times with coupons. Uh, if I can make them with pool noodles, it's just cheaper that way. And um, 
it'd be easier to fix if they broke, you know, if they somehow got squished or something. It'd be a lot easier to just go buy another pool noodle than to have to go buy another foam uh, for them. But yeah, <laughs> that was just random. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and try to get this edited and up today. And I will link that bee ball blanket below. So if you're interested in the high ties waves um, pattern, you can still get part one for free. You have to be signed up. By tonight to get that for free or you'll, or if you wait till tomorrow June 1st you'll have to pay for it I think the pattern's only like five or six dollars and it's a beautiful blanket so it's totally worth that but uh, if you want it for free you know it'd be awesome to get it for free then as opposed to having to pay for it <laughs> but yeah so I will I, I mean I'm expecting to get the other carousel package eventually I'll share that I'll try to film that better because today was just a bad day I was babysitting and a lot of stuff you know running around doing stuff so um that footage is a little bad, but I will try to film it and um, get it up for you guys on that part. You you had already seen it by now, but it doesn't matter. I'm sorry that it's bad quality, but I did keep a lot of stuff, and I put a lot of stuff in there, and I can't wait to see, like, everybody else open it and see what they get. That's one thing that's so fun about being in carousels is watching um, people opening it up after you and getting stuff that you put in there out. It's fun to see them pick stuff that you put in there. But yeah, so I'm pretty much everything that's in the box right now is stuff that I put in there because I took almost everything out of it, and... Um, put except for some little things and then cat took some of the things but uh i put stuff back in there i put a lot of stuff in there and um i labeled it i think i put a note in there too for whoever gets it that certain things count as one uh and just so that now i don't want to ruin it but certain things together count as one and i put a note in there about that and then i put some things in bags so that it counted as one and i wrote notes on them <laughs> so that whoever gets it will know but anyways, I'm going to hop off here and get this edited and try to get it up because I want to, I might start a uh, dishcloth tonight. Probably this one because I love these blues. But uh, yeah, we shall see. And I will see you guys in the next video, I guess. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Bye guys. Demo! That was a I good one, Bubba. That was a good one. Yeah. I'm putting slide over. Big cannonball. I want the little cannonball. You're gonna do a little one? <laughs> that was a little one, wasn't it? Cannonball. <laughs> do a big one. Yeah, do a big, big one. Okay, I'm gonna do a big, bigger one. I'm gonna go. Kicking his legs, boy. I'm getting better at it. Yeah. I bet by the end of the summer we won't really have to use them. Or, you know, we'll be getting to that point to where he'll, you know. He can never die. Yeah. Good big cannonball. Cannonball! Woo! Good job! I do big cannonball again! Yeah, your whole face went under. <laughs> what are you doing, Jesse? I'm putting all my money in the ground. You're putting all your money in the crown and you're saving it up, huh? Yep. What are we going to do when it gets full? We're going to put it over there and take it to the bank. Yeah. And it gets what the full of money. Yeah. And we can book it out. <laughs> <laughs>